Hey everyone, it's Miss Crystal from the Dickinson County Library, and this is Miss Emily. And this week for our science program, we've got a super cool STEM challenge, making rings out of Pringles. So to get started, you're going to need some Pringles. Oops, there we go. And you're going to put one there and stack up two. Keep stacking them. It's good to put a couple of stabilizers in there just because yep. it's going to be off balance. And you'll keep putting them on there. And you'll have to make sure you have a lot on your bottom, just like these ones, because that'll help keep it steady. You want a good base. If you don't have a solid base, it's going to be a lot harder. So make sure you use a lot of your can. And one can of Pringles should be plenty. We had two cans here and we've been able to make about three. And then as they, the walls start to get up, you're going to want to thread your Pringles in very carefully, very gently. Very gentle, or they'll fall over. Chip down. <laughs> it's okay. And if you knock it over, it's okay. You just start again. Yep. It's the fun of science. All right. We've got the lightly salted, so there's less stuff to get on your fingers, too. They're not quite as greasy. It still smells good, though, <laughs> even with the masks on. Definitely. So the higher you get up, the more gentle you want to be. So that's going to be the easiest time to knock stuff over. But if you thread your chips in, think of like a deck of cards. That's going to help them out to be stable. Oh, I almost put that one in backwards. Whoops. There we go. That's okay. <laughs> they might slide down and that's okay because they're going to be stable still. Oh, 
We're close. We're getting there. Just a couple more, and I think we're going to have it. Maybe two more chips and I think it's going to be good. Oh. Oh, no. That's okay. That's okay. That's the you can science. try it all over <laughs> again. And hopefully they'll end up like this. All right. We'll see you in a couple weeks. Bye.